This will be a brief video on the 1989 Peruvian-American Corman-produced cyberpunk smash known as Crime Zone. Doesn't that poster look like the most disgustingly synthwave, retro 80s thing you've ever seen? The immediate assumption is that this film will not match its slick poster art and in fact will be extremely low budget, poorly directed and not remotely stylized. Essentially we expect a very, very poor man's Blade Runner. Actually it's a very clever moderate to high income earners Blade Runner. I hope my screen caps do this modest production justice, but director Luis Losa did an amazing, amazing job at evoking a dystopian cyberpunk city, absolutely garage Blade Runner, and all by shooting at night around Lima, Peru, and amongst any and all of its postmodernist architecture, wherever they could. This is a modest equivalent to what Jean-Luc Godard did with Nighttime Paris in 1965's Alphaville, although still, I think, comparable overall. So then, funnily enough, this is a case where in the cool, stylish post art for a seemingly crummy 1980s low-budget B picture actually does inexplicably somewhat match what we see in the film. I mean, not by having watched it on a VHS. <laughs> Fuck nostalgia. VHS butchered the memories of many classic films that not into a Blu-ray can or could we really gauge the filmic prowess of. Don't believe me? Watch a Blu-ray of Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive, Salem's Lot, Life Horse, and or Spontaneous Combustion. Crime Zone Savvy does not have a Blu-ray release available, but this DVD seems good to me, as they were. DVDs are certainly adequate, although, I don't know, let's face it, the average DVD copy of Ridley Scott's Alien, for example, looked like shit. Crime Zone is a remarkable garage film, beautifully considerate, an extraordinarily clever piece of low-budget direction. Losa found his way into directing American films during the 1990s, but unfortunately these included Sniper with Tom Berenger and Anaconda with John Voight. Crime Zone has a decent narrative. David Carradine's character is an official representing the police state and as this young couple commit some dangerous crimes in exchange for their freedom out of this nightmarish, brutish, steelish hellscape. I really enjoyed my time with Crime Zone and I hope that anyone who watches it as a result does so also.